Well, now let's bring in Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Congresswoman, thank you for joining us on, on the all-important committee with Comer po pointing out some of the things that they believe link the Biden family to some corruption. Tell us, uh, tell us what you know, what you think, and what you're hearing. Well, Eric, when Joe Biden, otherwise known as the big guy, was vice president, he was involved in shady financial deals in which the Biden crime family received more than $10 million from our foreign adversaries, including China and Romania. The House Oversight Committee, of which I'm a member of, has published these bank records for the American people to see for themselves. And I want everyone to remember the Bidens do not have a family business. They are in the business of politics. Joe Biden has always served in a public office. And yet here, we now have the receipts to show what this family has been up to. And the FBI refuses to investigate anything. So the Oversight Committee issued a subpoena to FBI Director Ray, and he has since ignored that subpoena, which tells you everything you need to know. So, Congresswoman, you know, for, for I, I think your committee, I think Comer said that you had at least $10 million of receipts of, of money being transferred from various, from uh, Romania and, and China into various people in the Biden family. For what? Do we know what the service or product that they, they uh, provided China? Do we have any idea what those were? Were there any invoices? So there are um, subpoenas that are issued um, to some of these transactions right now. More will be issued later so we can find out the details of these transactions. What we know right now is there was no Biden family business that should have been um, engaged with these process, with these financial transactions. And uh, everything links back to Joe Biden, his name, his position of authority in America, and uh, the corruption um, just screams very loudly. And that is why we are issuing these subpoenas. Sure, and, and you have to do these things, and you have to do when you have people with names, with money transfers going into their accounts with no with no real reason or no understanding of it, and you lean into it, and you find out what, what's going on there. So it struck me as a little bit odd this morning when Steve Ducey over at Fox kind of undermined this whole investigation. Listen. Your party, uh, the Republican investigators, say that that's proof of uh, influence peddling by Hunter and James. But that's just your suggestion. You don't actually have any facts to that to that point. You've got, you've got some circumstantial evidence. And the other thing is, of all those names, the one person who didn't profit is uh, there's no evidence that Joe Biden did anything illegally. And Congressman, let me just tee it up a little bit more. But that's that's what investigations are all about. You find out who did do illegal right. things. That's you exactly lean on them and you cut deals with them to, to to ratchet up the ladder. That's the way they get they. That's why Rudy Giuliani broke them up. Um, so what are your thoughts on Ducey undermining your investigation? Uh, well, we are members of the House Oversight Committee, and we are conducting oversight into the executive um, at this current moment. Uh, Chairman uh, Comer said at our press conference just yesterday, we aren't just investigating the Biden family. We are investigating Joe Biden. Sure, we have some circumstantial evidence that is, um, uh, it seems very, very corrupt. And we are gathering more information as the oversight committee conducting this oversight so we can reveal the truth. We aren't Democrats that just scream a witch hunt for no reason. We have had um, legal experts looking into this and, and making sure that we can move forward with these investigations. And there's enough, enough information to do exactly that. We know that there are at least nine members of the Biden family involved. And it's time for the DOJ to actually do its job and investigate as well. And hopefully the, the uh, information that we bring forward leads to those investigations. Now, we can't put anyone in cuffs as members right. of Congress. And I don't think that uh, the Department of Justice officials are very eager to um, cuff their boss right now, um, who is uh, currently in the White House, whether that's the fake White House set that they built for him or uh, the original. Uh, but the American people are tired of the three-letter agencies that are weaponized against them uh, and targeting even President Trump, while we have um, this family who has very corrupt dealings, right. Uh, and uh, very questionable engagements with our foreign adversaries. Well, that, that, uh, just Congressman, I, I, I don't want to cut you off. I, I, I kind of ran out of time here. I don't want to. I apologize for cutting you off. But that it is when there's the, the, the saying is where there's smoke.
smoke. There's fires, there's a ton of smoke. You just need to link that fire to, to the big guy, Mr. 10 percent. And then you got your man, Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much.